Good morning, friends. How are you? Did you know that Sunday is Mother's Day? I hope you all have made your card if you have to send it and have already put it in the mail. But if not, um, today I have a mother's card idea for you. It is so cute. I kind of wish I would thought about it before I'd made my Mother's Day cards and sent them out already, but that's okay. I'm still going to share it. Um, anyways, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese, and this is my business, Creating with Christina. I love helping paper crafters uh, make a difference. Good morning, Kim. <laughs> make a difference in their uh, in their worlds with their creativity. So, And what I mean by that is when we... Um, create our cards and we send them out that just it just is the best thing it really is people love getting cards in the mail especially right now during this pandemic and a handmade card is even better so that is me and I hope you all will enjoy this card today like I said this is a Mother's Day card good morning Colleen Mother's Day card I'm using a retired stamp set uh, and sketch number 22 for my sketchbook so are you guys ready here we go and boom love this this program is so cool this switcher once I figured it out <laughs> it took me forever all right so uh, retired stamp set that we are using today is fabled friends and this mama duck and her three babies oh my gosh so our youngest daughter has three two boys and a little girl our middle girl is about to have her third in October, and I'm sure our oldest one will eventually have three also. I'm not sure, but we we predict. <laughs> um, so this really is a cute Mother's Day card. Um, all right, and then also this is the sketchbook that I'm using. This is a, a collection of sketches I put together. I sell on my blog for $4.95 to help defer costs of my business. Um, and when I made this book, the card I created was with this cute little stamp set here. And I'm going to change it up just a little bit today and uh, put the ducks on there. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side. Uh, one other stamp set we're going to be using is A Wish for Everything because I need Happy Mother's Day on there. So, All right, so I'm going to pull in my Stamparatus, and all a Stamparatus is is a stamp positioning tool. Oh, that ring light is showing, isn't it? Well, that's okay. Um, I have my ducks already positioned on the plate, so it's just going to stamp down. I'm going to be coloring with blends, so I need a water-based ink, which is my black mementos here. And I just get that on there real good. And then make sure my card is up in the corner. And squish down. And yep, it looks like I got everything. If I had like missed a little bit of this duck, I could have re-inked it and squished down again. And that's what's so great about this tool. Now, this is water-based ink, so I can clean it with my magic sponge. It's just a chamois. Uh, there we go. It just picks up that ink. Isn't that great? I love this thing. My magic sponge. <laughs> ah. All right. Let's take this and put it back over here. Okay. So, um... Coloring these little ducks, I thought, I don't want them all matched. Most, most of the time I see the cards that people use with this stamp set, all the little duckies match. So I'm going to change them all up. First though, first though I'm going to color them all yellow. So I have Daffodil Delight, and when I color with my Stampin' Blends, I first come in with my light, and I just quickly fill it in. So, and she's, this is going to take a little while, so, <laughs> hope you don't mind watching me color. I was going to color it all before we started, but I thought, no, this will give us time to talk. Um, we had a downpour this morning. Uh, woke me up at four in the morning. Colleen, did you hear the thunderstorm this morning? How about you, Kim? Did you get any rain today? I know you're over in Virginia. Well, it's 
still kind of cloudy out there, so I'm not getting much sunlight coming through my window. But that's okay. There we go. These duckies are just too precious. Like I said, if you've got a mama who's got three little ducklings, <laughs> so cute. All right, so we finished with the light. Now, um, any shadowing, which would be under their jackets, under their wings, places like that, under the under the hat here, that would all have a shadow. And under the bill, that would be shadowed. And under the jacket. Oops. Maybe under these wings here, these feathers. Okay, and then on the bottom of the little girls. There we go. I don't know if they're all girls. This one could be a little boy here. <laughs> okay. Not much shadowing going on with the babies. Just maybe right under their jacket right there. Maybe under her bonnet. He doesn't... Yeah, I guess a little bit there. Okay. So not much shadowing for the duckies on their on their feathers. Now, you come back with the light and you just rub the dark ink and it blends it together. The alcohol just kind of bleeds it all together and it and it gets really pretty. I mean, it looks really shadowed and it's really nice. It's just the easiest way. And you only have to go where you colored with the dark, where the dark and the light meet. Okay. And there we go. All right, so we have some shadowing now. We need the jackets. Oh, we need their little feet first. So the feet I'm just doing in a Dark Mango Melody. I'm not doing any shadowing. I'm just... I'm, I'm staying with one color family today, the brights again, like I did yesterday. Um, Sometimes that's easier for people to only have the one family for a while before they get... I mean, we have over 50 colors. So to have every single color can get kind of expensive. But um, if you start with one family, that's reasonable. And I really like the brights because it has a good, a good rainbow of color. Um, you just get a little bit of everything. I'm not sure what side the color the inside of a duck's mouth is. All right, the inside of our mama duck is just going to be this orange. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what other color to color it, but oh well. I'll have to look up on um, Google and see what color. Oh, you know what? I missed a wing. Oh, look at all these things. Okay, so Kim says no rain for her. Colleen says yes, it woke up. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. How are you? Did the rain wake you up, Dorothy? We were talking about that earlier. Okay, feathers and beaks and all that's done. Now for their little jackets. So I want Mama, I'm, the colors I'm going to use are the per, uh, Poppies on Parade, the, uh, which one is this one? Uh, Bermuda Bay, um, Granny Apple Green, and Flirty Flamingo. All right, so these are my colors. Now, I want Mama to be the red, so I need the light. Here it is. Okay, so Mama gets a red raincoat. And like I said, I just come in here with the light, then I go in with the dark, then I come back with the light. Oh, kind of got a shaky hand this morning. Yeah, maybe I should have colored this before I started. This is going to take a while. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to take up your whole morning with a coloring video. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. A cute little hat. All right, we've colored all that in. Now we go in with the, it didn't really wake me up, but it did, but you did hear the rain, yeah. My poor cat, Merlin, he wanted out, oh, I don't know, about 4.30-ish, 
And uh, so I, I got up and let him out. And then I heard the rain start. And I thought, oh, the poor kitty. So sure, but he had already gone off, so he wasn't going to come back home because he didn't want to run in the rain. But um, when the rain finally stopped and he came home, he was one wet kitty. <laughs> he was not happy. And, of course, then he wasn't happy because I pulled the towel out and towel dried him. All right. Um, let me put a little shadowing back to here. Okay, so one more time. Uh, for those of you who uh, didn't hear me earlier about coloring, I go with the light. I shadow with the dark, then I come back with the light, and I blend it. And I just rub it. I just rub the dark where I colored dark with the light. And it just, the alcohol bleeds it and makes it blend. So there's not that harsh line between the two colors. There we go. All right. So Mama Duck has a red raincoat. Now... The itty bitty one, I'm trying to think, should we, so these are for the next one. I'm thinking the middle one is going to get that green, blue, or blue, green. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, little junior here. Now, this is such an itty bitty image here that there's really not going to be any shadowing. It's just too tiny to to go in there and do shadowing and blending. So that's good enough there. And this one also, but I want the darker one instead of the light. There we go. Oh yeah, that's better. Flirty Flamingo, you think it's pink, but then when you start coloring with it, you see just a tinge of coral um, in it. go. Yep. Oh yeah, I like how that kind of matches with Mama. And then the green. Let's see how the light looks first. I like that. No, I think it needs to be dark green. <laughs> Kim says, that's okay. We're all, we are on quarantine. Yes, we are. Oh my gosh, we're all home watching coloring videos. <laughs> uh, actually, I went out uh, to a restaurant yesterday with my friend for lunch. We sat on the patio. It was the first time I'd been, I ate at a restaurant since this whole thing started, so that was nice. There we go. All right, so our babies are colored. Okay, now to the fun part. Now I'm going to show you something. Get all these colors out of the way. Oh, well, almost. I need grass. All right, so my grass stamp that comes in this set right here. Um, where's this? I'm getting out the granny apple green, and I'm going to put some grass under their feet. So, and the way I do that, just tap, 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 and now I just go tap, 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 tap. And then tap, 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 tap. And then tap, 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 tap. Okay. And this is going all the way across the card, so I'm just going to keep tapping. All right. And so, well, I need that some down there also. There we go. All right. Looks like real grass. Have y'all tried that before? So you just um, you just tap till the ink runs out, and then you get some more ink and tap, and it kind of makes it, yeah, it's good grass. I like my grass. Actually, Mama's walking on the air. Mama needs some more grass. Kind of go behind her a little bit. There we go. Okay, now Mama's not walking in the air. <laughs> Okay, so we have grass. Now, I need my trimmer. You're going to need a paper trimmer to do this. What I'm going to do... Hold on, let me get this out of the way. What I am going to do is Mama's head... I'm going to cut Mama's head out, but I'm not going to cut this out. So it's going to have a straight line across there, and then Mama's head's going to be fussy cut. So I need my blade to start 
and go across and it needs to be at the same height on both sides so and that's why a paper trimmer is important because you want it to um, be right so there's my line there and there's her head let's put her right there so that's at one and three quarters right there all right and then I need my blade and of course I have some tape on it but these blades do have marks um, all right yeah looks like right there is good and then I go up and then I bring it back Oops, don't want to move anything. Right. And then I come across that way. Actually, it looks like I can go in just a little bit further. A little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that this part is cut, now I'm going to fussy cut around here. Uh, but of course, before I actually fussy cut, I'm going to give me some work room here. There we go. Cool, huh? Whoop, there we go. So we're going we're gonna to now get detailed in there. So... Can y'all see me cutting? And when I fussy cut, I like leaving a little bit of white. Some people like cutting on the black line. Whatever you prefer. It's your card. Ah, come on, get in there. There we go. Cool, huh? And now, well, now this is going to be difficult. All right, so let's come in here. And come up and then come back down now when uh, when you're fussy cutting you want to twist your paper not your scissors that that'll give you that smooth well I'm having a little bit of trouble here now oh, there we go that'll give that smooth cut if you move the paper Okay, so now y'all know a new technique. If you, um, I didn't want Mama Duck all by herself up off the card. I wanted her flush with the babies, but I did want um, I didn't want white up here blocking the rest of our card. Okay, so let's put this back and let me show you my sketch again. All right, so um, yes, Colleen, that was Granny Apple Green. All right, here we go. So this sketch right here. I don't know if you can see that light circle part there. Anyways, and then there's the strip, and there's this circle in this banner. And, and when I made the card, whenever I made this book, uh, put this card together, um, I cut fussy cut the bird out and put it up on circles like that to kind of make it pop out like that. Um, and I put the sentiment down here. We're going to change this up a bit. Um, where the sentiment is, our little baby ducks are. And where the bird is here, this is Mama Duck, and she's going to come up a, this white strip. It, her head's going to be up here. So we're not going to actually have this circle here. Okay. Now we are going to have the circle back there. And I used a doily over here, and we still have some pretty doilies. And I thought, well, I'll try a, a doily, and I liked it. But I also needed um, some solid color behind Mama's head so she didn't like blend into the background paper. So I also have that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's pull the card in here. Pull all that. All right, so I've decided to stay with the uh, Mango Melody. This paper comes from the Brights um, Designer Paper Pack. We used that yesterday on the circle card. Um, I thought I really do need to use that paper, so I cut me a nice big piece there. Then I framed it on a white to make it pop, because see when I put it on the manga, it just kind of fades away, and it, it, I, I like my, uh, I like having outlines where things pop. Okay, so I just, I need to tape these down real quick. And then, out of tape runner. <laughs> Get another one. Oh no, I think this one's out too. Oh, almost. <laughs> I go through tape runner like crazy. It's okay, I can get liquid glue out. All right, here we go. So now we have our card base. Okay, now we have our card base. I took the Poppy on Parade. This 
Punch is retiring, so if you like having decorative borders, look how pretty that is, um, you're going to want to get this before the end of May. So this is retiring and our duckling stamp set. Both of these are retiring at the end of May, so just for your info. Okay, here's Mama Duck. Mama Duck's going to go right there. Actually, I don't think I want it all the way across. Uh-oh, I meant to trim this back. That's okay. Um, how long was this? Five inches. All right, so let me uh, cut that at five inches real quick. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's better. There we go. All right, and then I don't think I want... In my sketch... You can see I used a decorative edge here and it only went like halfway. Um, I think I like that instead of going all the way across. So let's let's go right here. There we go. Let me trim this little piece off here. There we go. All right, and that's going to go underneath there like that. Whoops. So that goes there. That goes there. Oh yeah, that's cute. And I picked the red so that it drew my eye to mama or mama drives my eye down here either way all right next thing is like i said the head needed some like solid cardstock behind it okay and then this doily i thought would be pretty so i'm gonna stick the doily in there too and i'm not putting it right behind her i'm kind of putting it off to the side for just a little interest all right and then we're going to stamp happy mother's day there all right let's get this done um Let's see, what do I need to do first? Let's get a little adhesive here on the bottom edge. Is this the one that I was out? No, okay. Is this one out? Oh my gosh, are they all out? I'm in trouble. Oh my gosh, they're both out. Hold the fort, people, hold the fort. What do I have? Oh gosh. Ugh. I have tear and tape. <laughs> I have more tape runner, I just, it's in, where I keep my extra tape and that's I don't want to go down there all right so we're just going to use this tear and tape here tear and tape is <laughs> when you want something to stick really well like if you're putting uh, boxes together so um, this is going to be overkill for a little decorative piece but that's okay because desperate times call for what's the saying <laughs> okay Ugh, there we go oh that's cute that's cute all right so and I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Um, let's go ahead and put these down. This is crazy using tape, runner tape, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Let's see, this was to make sure I get these in the right place. All right. We need enough room for happy over here. All right. Is that good? Do, 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 do. Okay, right there. Now I'm just going to hold all that while I put this underneath there. <laughs> oh, come on, tape. That's the other thing is trying to get the... It's not sticking that's pulling up the stickiness when I try to pull up the paper there we go okay and then this one okay Ugh, stuck to my finger perfect okay you guys still there still with me this card's taking forever how long have we been doing this 24 minutes ah okay Trying to hurry here. Having difficulty. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> One more time. Let's do this. All right. Mama Duck needs her head showing. There we go. Put it down a bit. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now let's get our dimensionals up on this. Um, I Remember I told you save these. These are great when you're doing big long pieces. So let me just cut that and cut that. Stick that there. And then do the other side. There we 
go. And then her cute little head just needs a dot. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Make sure we're in the right place. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. All right, we just need the Happy Mother's Day. Now, like I said, this is from... Uh, a wish for everything. This this is in the new catalog also. <sighs> Get a thing on there. Okay, so this is not retiring. And it has a really cute. There we go. As a cute happy. So I'm gonna put happy right there. I like it. And I'm just gonna use the black so it'll so you can see it. Okay. Oops, my head in the way. Sorry about that. Let's see. Happy. Okay, happy. And then, of course, Mother's Day. But Mother's Day, we're going to go another step. Where's the paper that I cut? There we go. I'm going to put Mother's Day on white cardstock here. And I'm going to cut it out. There we go. So, I'll just come in here and just kind of follow. There we go. Day. And I've cut it pretty close to the letters. All right. Oops, come here. All right, so Mother's... Let's see, we're going to put that there. How do we want that? Yeah. Oh, da -da -da -da. I'm getting the liquid glue out now because <laughs> this is way too small to put tape runner on, or uh, tear and tape on. Okay. And I just have that stuck on the edge being very fancy here <laughs> okay and then should we put day over here mother's day mother's day happy mother's day mother's day mother's day no definitely not there there that'll work all right and we'll just put a little glue there yay we're done woohoo only took us 27 minutes to make a card this morning. <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfect. Yay, look at that. Happy Mother's Day. There we go. You see it? What do y'all think? <laughs> Isn't that precious? So, in this stamp set was for newborns. It does have a stamp set that says, Welcome Little One or Welcome Baby. Or sweet baby or something but I didn't want it to look like a baby card I wanted it to look like more for a mother than for an expected mother or I mean even if you had an expected mother but I just I wanted it to be more Mother's Day card instead of you know a congratulations on your pregnancy card <laughs> or newborn baby card and so that's why I picked these brights and I also put them in non-traditional baby colors the, the Bermuda Bay and the green and um, anyways, I hope you all liked it. I hope you had fun this morning. Um, a couple of things before we go. Dorothy, I have the card tomorrow. Tomorrow I am doing the tutorial on drywall tape. You are going to love it. It is going to be so cute. So be sure to be back here tomorrow at 9 um, or watch the replay. Also, this card sketch, remember, there will be a, a, if you like card sketches, there will be a link in the description for that. My newsletter link is there also, and my newsletter always has a tutorial with it. I can't think of anything else. Did y'all have any questions or anything else you wanted to say before we left? Before I left? Don't think so. Colleen loves it. Thank you, Colleen. You're awesome. Okay, well, bye-bye. Y'all have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow.